Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me at this time is Joint Assistant Manager Chris Rawlinson. Chris, three points for the lads today. What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, the game was awful, to be honest with you. Um, but the three points is all that mattered. You know, our run of form in 2019 has not been good enough. Everyone's aware of that. So, you know, it was imperative we've got the three points. Pleased with the clean sheet. We've conceded far too many goals. Uh, the ones and twos of we've not managed to keep a clean sheet. So keeping a clean sheet, three points, you know, move on to Marine in a fortnight's time. I think it's it's fair to say Ferby were no pushovers. I think if the league was graded on work rate, Ferby wouldn't be bottom of the table. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I think it's fair, you know, that you know, made it talk about us, but Ferby have um had a tough season obviously, you know, but the one thing they are is is honest, they, they play very deep, um, work hard and, and deny your space but obviously you know alongside that you've got to be better on the ball as well to beat it. Some of the um, mentions of the stand was some of the fans were complaining about what they perceive as a, a long ball game whereas when I've talked to Dave in the past he's mentioned he's not changed the style of how his team plays. What would your response be to those fans? <laughs> Dave won't change the way we play you know we, we've come in here to, to effectively keep the team in the league this year. Um, to do that, we've put a squad together um, to play a certain way, to, which we find effective to, to get enough points to stay in the league. You know, we're ahead of plan. I would say well ahead of plan. You know, haven't been outside the top 11 for a long while. Um, I'll say, you know, we, we do give the light, team licence to play in the, in the final third, but on a very difficult pitch against a very hard working opponent. It didn't quite happen for us today, but, you know, it's, we don't give the players instructions that they can't do this or they can't do that. You know, they've got licence in the final third or in the opposing half to do what they want, as long as we like to be progressive in, in taking the ball forward and passing the ball forward. With tempo, you know, we don't want to just keep the ball for keeping the ball safe. You know, you don't get anywhere with that. Now, on something positive, Jonathan Margaret's come in and he's been an absolute revelation. Grabbed himself another goal today. How do you feel he's been in and around the club? Oh, he's been brilliant. You know, he's he's come in. Breath, I'm not going to say breath of fresh air, but he's been very professional. The lads like him. Um, he's been great around the dressing room. You know, more importantly, he's come in and scored. But I think that's four four goals in five games. So. You know, fair play to him. Um, that's what you want when you bring somebody on loan, is for them to come in and do that. And he's he's given us a great shot in the arm over the last few weeks. I'm mean, a bit bit cheeky, yeah, but do you think it's a player that we could see possibly having that loan turned into a permanent sign, or is that something that? Uh, he's Boss United's player. You know, that's his, his loan finishes today, so that's you know I can't comment on that at all. Right. Um, on to next Saturday now, we've got a, a weekend off, oddly enough. We're going to have a, an open training session down here. I believe things kick off at 11. Yeah, we'll, we'll start training at 11, yes. And then a bit of a QA and a in the clubhouse after, which yeah. should be good. A chance for fans to, um, to chat with players, chat with yourself, chat with Dave and Terry. How important do you feel it is to foster that real close relationship with the fans? Yeah, I think it's massively important, you know, and I'd say please take the the chance to come and talk to me and Dave, come and talk to the players, you know, ask us what our philosophies are for the remainder of this season and, and into next and, and where we want to take Matlock Town. Dave said in the weekly press release that it's a 10 game season now, including today's game, mm -hmm. for the lads to really show why they should be part of this club's future. How do you feel that the lads did you, well, do you feel they made a statement in regards to that today? We're not going to judge people over the, the basis of one game. You know, we, we have a way um, or where we feel we need to be for next season. But, you know, the next game is the most important. Some people have done themselves no harm. Some people could have probably done better. But, you know, that's football. And next week it might be totally vice versa. We've seen Matt Lott obviously push up the table. I've not had much chance to chat to you on video. Are you enjoying your time at the club? That's brilliant. It's a great club. Great people behind the scenes, um, you know, very professional. Uh, it's been a tough job, it's been a, you know, a very uh, busy sort of six months or whatever it is, but no, I'll be honest, it's, it's, it's been brilliant and we've really enjoyed it and we want to take it forward and, and get Matt Lott to where they want us to be. So to finish things off, we have to mention Jamie Jackson, who departed the club midweek to join up with Adam Smith at... 
Grantham Town. Is it a player that you were aware this move could possibly happen, or is he one you're disappointed to let go? Jamie, Jamie will argue that he probably, you know, didn't have enough minutes on the pitch, but you know, he, he, he did great for us um, in some of our other performances. But he wants somewhere that he's guaranteed to play minutes, and no, no, none of the players in our squad are guaranteed to play every week. So you know, Jamie wants to take that chance, and that, that's brilliant. Obviously, he knows Adam and been at Grantham before, and, and we wish Jamie all the best. How I know I said that was last question, but I thought of another one. Right. Joys of journalism. Uh, how we're not having a game next week. How do you prepare the lads for the next game after that? Because I, I guess it's very much different knowing you've got the weekend off. Yeah, to be honest with you, we're going to give the lads a, a little bit of break this week. Um, it's that time of the season we look a little bit jaded, I think. Um, so we're going to give them a bit of time to refresh the batteries, work on a little bit of fitness. Injured players get in with the physio to, to try and get themselves in a position to be available for a fortnight's time. Um, and then we'll pick things back up from next Saturday through next week into, into Marine. Because, you know, nine games left, we can still get to... And then we still get to 70 points around that, that mark. You know, we want as many points as we can to finish the season on a high, which will then transmit itself into next pre season and, and obviously hopefully have a, a great season next year. But this season isn't finished. I think it's, it's fair to say for a lot of people that points total would have been unconceivable when you three came in, so credit where credit's due on yeah. the job that you've done. Right, we'll finish things there, I'll let you get off and get on with whatever you've got to do. Thank you very much, Chris Rawlinson. No